everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Guardians of Home. It is, it's effectively Dungeon Warfare, or uh, top-down Orcs Must Die, but as a roguelike, which I'm very excited to try out. I played the demo for this a while back, had a good time with it. Looks like my save file is carried over, which is kind of neat. Uh, looks like we've just got this character, so we're just going to dive into a run and we'll make it work. I had a really good time with this the last time. Strength is power. Uh, cool. I don't know why you popped in to tell me that, but it's fine. Let's see how this goes. Detour. Brave challenge. Add an armored orc. Every wave. Get two health. And then we don't have that one. Oh, but we could do this. Get a card removal. Monsters do extra damage to the core. Sure. I think we could do this. Okay, so they're coming this direction. I don't have the capacity to reroute them, nor would I really want to in the moment. So in that case, how are we doing this? We've got kind of whatever. How many resources do I have? 4,600. Arrow traps. Must be placed on the wall. If I do this, what is its range? Okay, it's that. Now I could also level it up, which isn't terrible. Insufficient level, so I can't go any further. Uh... I'm going to put the oil tar trap. Wait, can I... Oh, I can do that? I can do that. I was not expecting that I'd be able to actually point it backwards. I'm hoping to get another oil tar trap uh, before this is over, but I don't know if I'm going to get so lucky. Let's get one more arrow trap, put it here, and point it downwards. Uh, let's see, I have just enough for one more. Put it there. Alright, and let's get this show on the road. Did that oh no, there we go. I paused it. It's fine. Nah, I'm dying. It's funny. Let's speed this up a little bit. And I can also skip some waves if I want to, if I was bold enough to do so. Oh right. We also have those. Okay. Doesn't look like I can do any more at the moment. We don't have any other... We don't have any money. But it's fine, except for the giant orc. He might not be so fine. Alright. Well, that was the end of that wave. Uh, let's see. Redraw your hand. Sure. Well, I got nothing. I also don't have enough resources anyway. I'm just gonna put some traps there and yeah we're doing fine i guess i'll put another one here just for some extra oomph we seem to be wrecking them perfectly well so all in yeah they're they're having a lot of trouble getting past most of my traps and i haven't even upgraded them i probably should have done that oh well. yeah just putting this right here is uh absurdly good i get a lot of resources we get some extra health and we get to gain a card and remove a card Okay, dart trap. Cheap trap that fires small darts quickly. Hold card for more details. So, unenhanced. What is the enhanced bonus? Enhanced one. Increases the damage. Damage. Cool. Ignite enemies with intense flames, dealing burning damage every second. And then an archer's mark. Summons an archer. I think the fire trap is probably better. Okay, and then we also get to remove a trap. With the oil tar, oh, but we only get one of them. I think I'm going to get rid of one of the arrow traps. Okay, so what do we have? You can spend gold to purchase items here. I don't have that much gold. You can get a powerful relic, learn and enhance skills, and get a trap. So I think I'm going to go down. We want to enhance a trap. Do we want to enhance my fire trap? I think so. Okay, so we got a little bit better. We can get a Relic. Whenever a trap kills an enemy, increase its damage by 1%, up to 50% for 5 seconds. When a trap when trap numbers on the field is less than 10, decrease the attack delay of all traps by 35%. When using pits to kill enemies, deal 75 damage to the closest enemy to the core. I think I might want to go for the Leather Crawler Belt. Just keep my traps less than 10, that should be doable. Okay, and I can learn a new skill. Arrow Rain, Bomb, or Clamp Trap. Ah, so I can upgrade my pre-existing one. I think I'd rather do Arrow Rain for the time being. 
Okay, we've got another fight. Okay, two orc shamans and get an extra backpack. It's probably risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, and I'm going to get... that down. I mean, we get a free oil trap. Okay, so flame trap's in a fine spot. Hopefully we can get another one. Might as well just make this into one hell of a kill box. I don't know what my range is going to be. I'm just going to put that there. This should be fine. Let's put one of those down. Okay. Do we actually just do two of these? Yeah, give me the extra resources. Okay, 375 to get that one. But it seems like the flame trap is probably primo. There we go. Because I could do more than that, but I think this should absolutely ruin them. How much do you cost to upgrade? Not much. Oh, can I upgrade this sucker? Sure. And what else am I going to do? Speed that up, get some more resources. Yeah, let's just keep leveling all of these. And there's like one dude who gets toasted. Like, I guess I could use this. I should probably slow things down a little bit, but oh well. I think right now I'm gloriously OP. Perfect. That didn't take much. Okay, a lot of money. Get a card. Guards mark. Paralysis track. Trap. Attacks bounce 5% or 5 times with a 5% chance to inflict paralysis or a dart trap. Guard mark is interesting. I, I almost feel like the guard's mark might be the trick. Forging machine. Get traps from bonfires. I like it. Okay, so what are we looking at? Shop, event, trap room, blacksmith. Ah, there's the bonfire. Yeah, purchase items. Well, here's the thing. We've got... We've got a ways before the boss. So I'm quite curious to see what the event is. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have at least one more market cart. Probably that one. Yes, yeah, so I'll wanna visit this one. At the very least. Uh, let's just keep going up here. Keep upgrading this. More toasty roasties? Yeah. Get a powerful relic. For every enemy inflicted with a debuff, deal damage equal to 0.5 max HP to the closest unit. Eh. Decrease the build and level up cost of the roadblock. Or base slow effects by 25%. I think I'm going to go for the super glue. Okay, so acid trap. Decrease defense. Paralysis trap or another oil tar trap. Oh, yeah, and that's for three seconds. So I think I do want to get another oil tar trap. They're cheap anyway, and they work really well with a lot of my other abilities. So three orc shamans, and yeah. Huh. Okay, so this one's tough. I think it would be better if I had them go up and then down. Because there's no way I can... I could actually just have them go up. We get a free paralysis trap, but I don't think I like that. So we're just going to sell that and move a roadblock. I guess I'll move it here. For now. They will end up going past the paralysis trap, but so be it. Okay, and I do have an arrow trap. 
think I'm going to point it there. Here's the question. Can I just do that? I shouldn't have done that. Can I, like, undo? Surrender. I wish I could undo specifically. I can sell it. And get the full value back. I'm going to do it. I just, I'm just i curious to see what's going to happen. Even if that screws me up. Uh, screws me over just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put my second oil tar trap all the way out there. Maybe wasteful. Okay. No. I got it back. Oh, but I didn't get the full value. I'm going to put the fire there. All right. Yeah, so if I don't like the placement of something, I can move it. It's just not gray. Yeah, let's just focus on leveling my fire. Because as far as I know, it doesn't have any kind of... Oh. No, it, uh, it does do damage. If you're the next one to get the level up, this might be a good idea. And 30%. I guess I might as well put that there. Okay. We might as well just speed this up. They ain't, they ain't getting past. Oh. Evolve locked. Okay, so we have to upgrade at least one more time. Insufficient level, insufficient level. Okay, do we have anything else to do? Nope. Alright, just get that free money. I think I'm going to save up for the guard's mark. Just put that there. Nope, that was kind of unnecessary. Oh, it can only be placed on a wall. Okay, so we're just going to have those guys there. And, yeah, doesn't really matter. What I was thinking is I'd have uh, two arrow traps just pointed inward. I guess we have a second fire trap. Oops. Doesn't matter. It's a very dense and probably not the most practical builds, but it's working. Like, nobody's getting past. I almost wonder if there's a different difficulty level beyond this. Okay, sulfur trap also burns enemies. Sunken trap or paralysis trap. I like the burn. Projectile trap. Fires bullets quickly, generating overheat. Up to 30. Cannot attack after overheating. Okay. We also have a nail trap. Wops. Oh. Oh. I kind of like that nail trap. The projectile trap is interesting. Nail trap would be neat. Wait, actually, I'm going to go for the projectile trap. That is a very good last hitter. Effectively, wherever there's an enemy, I can just shred them. Uh, let's see. So do we want to enhance a trap? I don't want to get more traps. Yeah, let's keep enhancing. Can I upgrade my flame trap? I cannot. That sucks a bit. Do I want to upgrade my arrow traps? Yeah, I think so. And we can recover or get a trap. Acid trap, guards mark, or a hook trap. Let's see, do we want a second guards mark? I think I don't actually like any of those. 
I was hoping it would let me upgrade. Powerful version of the Troll Witch Doctor can only... The only troll healing unit that can heal nearby Demon King units. Somewhat resistant to magic attacks. All right, let's take a look at this. We do have a frost floor. Okay, I think I'm just going to do that for the time being. I don't have too much of a choice here. Hmm... It's saying they're going over this roadblock trap, which is a little bit of a concern. Now I could one, two, three, four. I could spend most of my money to get them to go over here. Or I could just do this. Yeah, so they're going to go at least around that. That isn't so heinous. I think I'm going to point that there. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, that's a pit. Oh. I didn't realize that was an empty pit. Um, that sucks a bit. Here's my fire trap. I guess we're going to be spreading this one out a little bit. I guess I could do this. Okay, let's go for that. I don't have too much of an alternative option, but everything is going to burn, I guess. I think I'll put a guard mark there. Hopefully, once again, this will not shoot my guys in the back. I thought I haven't upgraded that, but I suppose I kind of don't need to. Oh, that's working. More bonus abilities. that downwards. I guess I might as well get the oil tar trap here. We'll probably want to get a roadblock to point here just to get them to go around a little bit more. But I think they're getting hit by all of it anyway. Okay. And doesn't have enough level for anything else, but that's fine. I guess I should get more of these. And let's just go. What else are we going to do? Okay, let's cycle them all out, see if I can get something more interesting. Like my other fire trap. Right, and skip award. Uh, frankly, yeah. Even though we're technically doubling my, uh, my fire quantity here. I think it's still worth it. I'm just gonna turn this into just an absolute kill box. All this extra stuff was kind of unnecessary. I'd like to remove a number of these if I possibly can, but they are... That option is few and far between. And yeah, bring them all on. I don't care. I got arrow rain. The more they, the more they come at once, the better. Let's see. Can I upgrade this again? I suppose. All right, and we get another one. Uh -huh. Let's just give them a little little bit of spiky business. Why not? They haven't even gotten to the uh, the final line of defense. Oh, he might.
Okay, he heals himself. And is a bit of a worry. Never mind. Turns out gun. Gun was the right choice. Okay, field generator. Place on wall. Attack all enemies on the map. Steam engine. Decrease the attack. Uh, attack delay of traps within range. Now nah, I'm going to go for the field generator. That just seems way too good. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it looks like we're going down. Trap room. Paralysis trap, dark trap, hook trap. Don't care. Okay, so I can enhance a trap. I can remove a trap. Harvest trap. Enemies die within range. Get material. That's actually really good. So what else do we have? I guess for starters, let's get the enhance. And let's get the remove. I'm going to get rid of one of the spine traps. Okay, what else do we have? Increase burn duration. Tempting. Hits cannot be traversed by ground enemies, but kill enemies who fall in. Tempting. Uh, burn to enemies that are displaced. Whatever trap kills an enemy, no. Hits kill enemies, no. Consume one redraw point. Let me go for the harvest trap. And I guess we're going to go for that burn duration. Okay, we also get something. Bearing. Every 100 materials, you get 1% redraw progress at the start of every level. Ooh. Oh, for every redraw point, increase trap damage by 15%. I think I'm going to go for the bearing for now. That stun rod is actually better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, two orc shamans. Monsters do extra damage. Sure. So what is their path? Might as well put that there. Okay, so we have the harvest trap. I think I'm going to somewhat expensively put it here because that's a very good spot for it. I'm going to put that there. Because we're going to want one of these oil... Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. Okay, and I think I'm going to have th this pointed upwards here. With possibly another oil trap. Let's see. I'll just put that there. Alright. Welcome to the kill box, suckers. That should work. We've got all these extra things. I don't even know what that is. Oh, rock trap. Oops, that's gone forever. This is why I wanted the harvest trap. That should uh, fund some carnage. Cannot afford more, but it's fine. I guess I should probably level up the oil tar traps. But I think I'm going to want to put some guards here just to further make everything bad. I could put them over here, but nah. I might as well give them some level of survivability. I haven't even used the field generator yet. Like I said, though, it's going to pay for itself. Oh, this is not the one that upgrades fully. I guess I'm not actually sure how much that matters. So do I want to get the guard mark? Nah, we're going to do field generator first. I can, I can just put it wherever I want. It gives live out here. 510 for an upgrade, though. Ouch. Give me that. Give me that swank skip. I guess I should speed this up. There we go. I'll take the extra materials. Boost this thing a little bit. I guess it doesn't... doesn't eh, it's gotten a couple of kills. I think this is... This is the goat, though. Can I upgrade this? Oh, I can upgrade this. Yeah, it's worth it. Holy smokes, that's worth it. Okay, insufficient level. I mean, at this point, none of this matters. Uh, yeah, let's just put that there. Guaranteed. No one survives. Honestly, though, I'm just... I'm, I'm pretty happy with this build. 
It does make me wonder if this game has like a harder difficulty, potentially, but I will also recognize that I have a pretty strong combo right from the get-go. Stop giving me cards. I need to... oh... This is range. I have an idea with the steam engine. It's probably a wash. Nah, let's go up here. Uh, let's see, another sulfur trap. I think I should probably stop picking traps, but it's so tempting. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna enhance that thing. Cause that pays for itself and then some. Okay, two giant orcs, yeah, it's fine. I suppose. The only immediate problem is, yeah, it has to be, oh, can be placed on a wall. Okay, that's kind of useful. Okay, there's a sulfur trap. There are there's our harvest trap. We have a projectile trap. Another oil trap. Do I want to just put this here? I don't even know if that affects anything. Okay, what is your range? If I have the guard mark right here. I guess we're going to have to make do. This is the one problem with uh, filling my deck with junk. At least we have a lot of fire. Next level, for better and worse. Next level again. How much do we get? 25 per. Okay. We have the field generator. Go for that, because I can get this arrow trap, finally. And there's a fire trap. Get some arrows down. The giant orcs aren't, are surprisingly not as much of an issue as I thought they would be. Let's put the fire down. And yeah, the harvest trap is in fact doing its, its dark business. I wish we started with one reroll, just in terms of like, wow, these are bad. I wish I didn't have them. I'm just going to put that there. Hopefully that'll go a little faster. I could go for an upgrade, or we could get another one of these. How much is that upgrade? Oh, it's not as good as potentially getting another. Oh, right, I should go for the skip bonus. Any other gun? Actually pretty good. Not gonna prioritize it. Cause I kinda don't need to, don't want to. Let's see. Create on the steam engine. I am not sure. Nor am I sure if I care. Oh, we can go up to times three. I never noticed that. What's the upgrade on this? 23%. Not, not worth it. I guess I should re-roll these. See if I can get... Yep. Right, I should probably upgrade this twice. Okay. Damage is good. I guess I should put it next to the steam engine next time. 
Uh, that's fine. Here's the other question. What do five? What if I put two of them down? Yep. Okay, they do synergize. So, I think what I need to do is effectively this, but with this jammed in the middle between them as kind of just this absurdist uh, blaster combo. Okay, nail ta trap now. Barb panel. Enemies who are displaced take more damage. Unfortunately, doesn't really help us. Remove two traps, or we can upgrade something. I think I'm going to remove two traps. Oh, well, I removed one because I'm a goof. And do we want any of these? No. Let's go into the boss fight. It's fine. Lord Duma, Lord of Silence, excels at commanding high HP units and has extremely high HP itself. Mm, let me see. I, I do, in fact, see a route here. Because we can make them go all the way through here. And then over and around. It's going to be a little costly, though. that put that there okay they'll have to go past those and that'll have to be good for a very short moment okay let's just put that over we do actually have the good arrow trap so I might as well start using that I'd forgotten about that part then most of these guys are just going to burn. Okay, we've got the field generator. I guess we'll put that there. Give him a good old trap. Perfect. The harvest trap. Yeah, most of my kills are going to be there. Unfortunately, we're not in the best spot. I should not have put this field generator here. Could honestly sell it. I almost feel like I should have actually tucked these over here. Oh, well. Too late now. Wait. Oh. What? Oh. Wait, there was another gate? Uh. Okay. This sucks. I mean, on the plus side, I'm... I had some traps. I think we took one damage there. Like, that could have gone infinitely worse. Yeah, I've got the gun trap here. 
Whew. I guess I'm just gonna have to ignore that. Yeah, this went, um... Very badly. Do another one of those. Let's get that field generator somewhere. I guess really kind of anywhere. Because I might as well surround it in steam engines. Okay. Put that there. I have no idea how effective this thing actually is in combat. That's only 14 damage. Yeah, it's not actually that good. I was hoping that would actually kill the boss. Fine, maybe? Act 200. Yeah, so he very easily could can and will kill me here. And I have next to nothing I can really do about it. I mean, hopefully it'll be fine. There we go. All it took was a trap. No, that was not the boss. It was just a regular goon. Ouch. Oh, that's way more fire damage. Yeah, had I paid attention, I would have blocked this off, had it go all the way around. I just guess I wasn't even aware that that was a thing that could happen. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go kind of silly with these steam en engines. Having that specifically rip through most enemies. Yeah. No way I could do anything about that. I guess I'll just put some spikes down just because. Uh, we've also got a troll. But that's the actual boss there. How much HP does he have? A lot. I have many concerns. I'd hate to lose right at the gate. No, we still have the guards. And he's very injured. Thank you, last line of defense gun. Ooh, that could have been bad. Now do we have another region? I have no idea. Squeezing trap. Massive damage to enemies within range. Conductor floor. Eight overheat from nearby traps to ignite all enemies within range. Or whatever that is. Let's go for the conductor floor. Increase initial materials by 2400. Decrease the delay of all traps by 10%. When calling in early waves, damage to all enemies, or max HP. Hmm. The 120 damage to all enemies is kind of tempting, but I think I'm going to go smooth gear. Because smooth gear is actually useful against bosses. Okay, so we have a whole nother region. EXP and get whatever the heck that is. Sure. All right, so in that case, I guess we are going to have the gun after all. Okay, what is your range? From nearby traps. To ignite all enemies. I'll have it there. Let's see, we do have a guards mark. Oh, shoot. I have to sell that. After all. Huh. Let's see. We do have the field generator, but honestly... Honestly, not that enthused with it. I 
I'll put it there. I guess I do have a lot of starting resources, though what I could do is actually level up my guards, make them a little tougher. And then that's my good arrow trap. Let's just level up a bunch of things. That seems better. All right, let's get this started. Okay, so they just blitz, which is a little bit of a concern. Yeah, the gun is working. Uh, I suppose I'll just put some spikes down. There's the harvest trap. Can't upgrade it again, but we do get the sulfur trap, which is one of the things that I could use. I think I still want to upgrade that first. What is this? Even with a little bit more fire. I suppose I should have an arrow trap going down that direction. This is kind of extra insurance. What are these guys? Oh, restores the life of enemies passing by. Slightly rude. Maybe I should actually learn a skill. Who's this? Oh, that's just it. It's the Jackal Raiders. Those are the ones messing me up. It's fine. Honestly, I should probably upgrade these Sulfur Traps. In retrospect. Because that dramatically increases my burn damage. What about this sucker? Oh, that does too. He got toasted. So I'll put that there. Unfortunately, my steam trap isn't really doing what I want it to do. I think I might want to get rid of them. So I'll just put that there. Let it do a thing. Uh, let's see. What else do we do? I'll put that there. It won't have its overheat consumed to burn enemies, but I don't know if that's much of a problem. I like this combo, though. I will have to work with that. Yeah, those raiders aren't as bad as I thought they would be. Let's see, what do we want to do? Another fire trap going up? Yeah. I don't know if the fire effects stack. I would certainly hope so. Because I like the idea of just making everything roasty, toasty, and terrible. Okay, can't do anything else. So I'll put that there. I guess we do have that one thing that specifically improves my traps if I have less than 10. I should be using that. Oh well. Yeah. yeah, how's my conductor? Really? Only kill cone out of 9? Then again, I'm pretty sure the projectile trap is actually the one getting all the kills here. And because it has no over... it, it cannot overheat, it just doesn't matter. Right. I should have been at uh, max B this entire time. Oh well. Okay. Fly saw. I have to. It's like to trap to... Oh, a trap to level up. I know. I guess I'll work on that. Okay, get a trap here. Enhance the skill. I guess let's go up. 
I care not for most of these. I could go for more projectiles, but I'm not convinced it's a good idea. Attack delay 3.5. It doesn't work based off of overheat. I could upgrade the harvest trap again. Yeah, the question is, what do I upgrade? Because we have the conductor floor, but it isn't very good. The sulfur traps were surprisingly toasty. And what I'd like to do... I don't know. Oh, I can get two of these. I think I'm still going to upgrade the projectile trap, though. And I think we're going to want to go shopping. Okay. Jackal Raiders, so very much same deal. Same deal as last time, roughly the same layout as last time. Except for this time, I've got the flame trap. We have the conductor floor. We have a flying buzzsaw. Okay, hold up. What is this thing's range? Because that's the tough part. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put the conductor floor over here. That should work. Okay, what else do we want to do? Honestly, probably level... Level up the fire. Level up that. Level up the slow. Level up everything. Alright, that should be good. There's our solution the riders. Oh, you know what I should be upgrading now? I'm going to be using the harvest trap. I should be using the harvest trap. Okay, what else do we have? More rewards. I guess I could put it here. Fuel generator, steam engine. And there's our projectile trap. Which I suppose I'm not going to be using as much as I probably could or should. I also just don't need to. Also, I put it there, whatever. Air trap, put it down, yeah. All things considered, I guess this is fine. Okay, other projectile trap, put it upwards. Other fire trap, I, I just don't even, I don't know if we even bother at this point. Like my basic fight goons are kind of enough here. Is this maxed? No, it is not. Like I'm kind of distressingly strong. What is this again? Increased burn damage duration by 1.5 or spray range. It would be the spray range 100%. Okay, pulverizer trap. Smash all enemies on contact and store damage dealt after 15 damage. Convert one uh, to one overheat up to a maximum of 20. Oh. In increase arrow range? Yeah, let's just keep making that bigger. Not that I'm using it. Uh, let's see. Do we want to go to the shop? Yeah. I've got oodles of money. And I should probably enhance something and get rid of something. Oh, the pulverizer trap comes pre-upgraded. 
That's nice. Honestly, let's just level that up. Remove a trap. Alright, another conductor floor, impetus floor. Eh. Okay, burn to enemies who are displaced, burn rune, burn damage, that's pretty good. Spine traps can now deal damage to flying enemies. Nope. I think we're doing the burn rune. It was a spine rune, actually. I thought this was a spine trap. I suppose it's not. All right, whatever. And we have an event. Let's see. On a sun altar in the wilderness, there's a small box inlaid with gorgeous gold. There might be some treasure hidden in the box, but you're unsure why the box is covered in black grease. Do you want to try opening it using the sacrificial method of the sun disciples, or do you want to pray? Pray. What is that? When, oh, when using pits to kill enemies, decrease the delay for traps. Eh. It's no good. I hope we get another fountain or two, but it looks like... Out of luck. Okay, more HP, and yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at this one, because that's kind of scuffed. We want them to go up over here. There are two. Sorry. I think I still want them to go this direction. Because I can turn this corner, this whole section, into death box. Okay, so let's take a look at this. They'll take the long way around. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, so I think we want projectile trap one here pointed downwards. An oil trap right there. Projectile trap two there. Arrow trap, sulfur trap. I hate to say it, I think I'll put it there. Uh, fly saw tra trap. You know what? Nope. No fly saw trap. So I have this there, so it's going to be on these three. I guess I'll have those guys at the end. There's the harvest trap. Conductor floor. And there's our fire trap. Okay, anything else? We do have one more tar trap. I suppose I'll put it there. Alright, let's get started. I'm glad I noticed that second gateway. Otherwise we would have been having we would have had some trouble. Skip. There it, there it is. I think I'm just going to level up my gun. Okay, that one's maxed. Oh, you know what I should be doing? Yeah, I don't actually want to level up the arrow trap any further. Heck, I'm not even particularly keen on this one's placement. It's not bad. Alright, there's the pulverizer trap. Can't level it up, but it's fine. Aw, oh, it doesn't animate. I was really hoping it would. But I'm pretty sure the pulverizer trap is just not going to have any overheat. Uh, what? Pardon? I don't know how they destroyed that. That could have gone insanely badly for me. Lucky me. Wait, we can get a second pulverizer trap? Oh boy. Huh. 
another one of those. Oh, there's bomber goblins. I should. I suppose I should make sure I have enough resources that the bomber goblins don't bomb my setup. Okay, last wave. They seem to be just destroying themselves here, so I guess we're in in for a decent time. Some of them are getting by. I guess let's slow this down a bit. Hello? Hello? Eh. That sucks. I think we just didn't have enough people. That should count as on a wall. Rude. Doesn't matter. We took what? One damage? Not a huge issue. Okay. Anything? No. I don't think so. Scar pendant. Trap kills an enemy. Increases damage. Yeah, it's decent. It's not really that useful. Uh, let's see. Blacksmith Sanctuary? Yeah. I feel like the Pulverizer is either really good or I'm completely misconstruing what it does. But I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to upgrade it. Let's see, decrease cast delay. Yeah, I should be putting those clamp traps down way more. Okay, shield jackal, jackal raider. Oh, look at this. This is an actually normal sensible... Oh, no, it's not. Um... Okay, how do we want to do this one? Because I could put stuff here. Do we have a better kill corner? We kind of do. Like, I could lock us here. That's really late in the game, though. I think I'm just going to do that. Grinder there. Slow him down going into this mess. Okay, next projectile trap. Oh... Are we going to just sell both of those? Because I need to have my pulverizer trap there. Conductive floor. And in reality, I probably should have this conductive floor somewhere else, but what else was I going to do about it? Okay, let's skip next wave. Okay, I should probably be getting those down. Let's see, fly saw trap pointed upwards. Yeah.
probably just upgrade this a couple of times. Let's see. Bullets there. I don't know how much it matters. I'm just gonna have a couple of these as, like, backups. Yeah, there's the other one. The main fear is the bomber goblins. If those are a thing. I might want to have a secondary roadblock, just in case. Because otherwise my day is going to get messed up real bad. I should probably upgrade this. There we go. Pays for itself, pretty sure. I wish I knew what this thing's nearby traps meant. Okay, do we just re-roll? Yeah. Yeah. That was worth it. Uh, I'm just... I don't think I'm gonna use that one. What's he doing? Oh, he's getting s stopped by those guys. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, boy, I don't know. I think this is about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. I suppose what I should do is start upgrading my traps. I kind of just forgot that I could do that. I forget often. Okay, burns maxed out. Archer ain't maxed out. Maybe I should upgrade my my sword boys too. This one, not maxed out. Yeah, the thing is, the grinder is just... As far as I can tell, just destroy everything. Oh, it can overheat, though. It just doesn't overheat often. I guess I'll upgrade, upgrade these. Because, yeah, what else am I going to do here? Unfortunately, this is going to be one of those roguelikes that I don't think I'm going to play very often because it's going, uh, the runs are a little long. You know, we're already an hour, hour in and I'm a, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a third act. Uh, and for me, the sweet spot is always like an hour. Longer than that, it's like, I mean, actually, this is pretty gratifying. Uh, getting the point, getting to the point where my traps are like this absurd. Maybe I should get the field generator. And the steam engine. Steam engines. Can't upgrade any further. It's fine. Because at least this will clear them out a little bit. Yet yeah, nothing got through. Everything is good. Rotary Blade Trap. I think... Like, I'm... I'm good. I would like more traps, but I mostly just need to get rid of them. Let's go to the shop again. We might get something fun. It's a sunken trap, and then there's the... It says Trap Mortar Wall. Might have to try that. One redraw point at the start of battle. That I did ask for that. It's done nearby enemies. Max HP, simple barrier, sharp spear. Or we can enhance and remove. And then try the mortar wall. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, right, this is removal. Don't remove something you won't wander. Be bad. Okay, and then I was gonna try this. Because yeah, that starting redraw would be nice, but I think as I limit things, it's not so bad. Red block traps increase damage of nearby traps by 30%. 
But I think I'm going to go for the Stun Rod, because we kind of stack a bunch of redraw points. Sell a trap, sell a relic. Uh, sell a trap. What do we get rid of? This one's tough. I think I might want to get rid of the sulfur trap. Or the steam engines. No, let's get rid of the sulfur trap. Steam engines are vaguely useful. 90 gold. Get a thing. Monsters recover 8 HP per turn. It'll be fine. Hmm. Okay. So this is fine. This is not. Oh, wait. This loops around. Okay, put those there. We're going to want the Harvest Trap here, and this is going to be our kill box. So we're going to have gun, gun, grinder, grinder, grinder. So I can put the Fire Trap here. We also have the Mortar. Oh, okay, so that's incredibly bugged. I will have to get rid of that. Oh. Um, can I go back to main menu? Let's see if it lets me continue my run. Okay. It's scuffed, but at least it's not a problem. So anything that is not named like that is just a total no-go. Cannot use. Fair enough. Okay, we don't have the harvest trap yet. I think I'm just going to set this up. We should prep a... Do I want to get a steam engine here? For once. Actually kind of tempting. Like a projectile, and there's the harvest trap. Sick. Alright, level it up. Level it up again. Level it up a third time. What's the evolution? Harvest range and increase the materials you get from harvest by 30. Like an additional 30? Oh. Yeah, that seems really good. There's our pulverizers. Or our first of them. There's the field generator. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. Guard mark. Put him here. And yeah, it doesn't even give me a cell flag. Which sucks. Not like too much. Oh, I can I can put this here. And there's our next pulverizer, right? Get another another one of those. Also get another fire trap. Freaking where? I don't know. I th I think we are beyond capped out. I think at this point the only thing I really can do is just put my money into upgrades. I guess out of paranoia, I'm gonna double layer those. Uh, 
Okay. Has my fire been boosted? That's maxed. Steam trap is good. Arrow tower, tower is good. When I saw this one initially, I was like, oh, uh, this could be a little dicey. And then it's fine. We are just absolutely wrecking everything. Nice and easy. Okay, a lot of money. A trap, but I just don't care. Roadblock traps gain extra HP and reflect damage. Hey, that's kind of nice. Okay, I got 306. I think I'm just going to go to the blacksmith. We'll just upgrade something. Not that, though. Not that, though. I suppose I guess I'll just keep going for the projectile traps. Could recover HP. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Okay, HP... Ability upgrade. I'm not even paying attention to these. So we have... We do have a second gateway. Oh, that's super scuffed. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to accept that it that exists. Okay, so we've got a second gateway here. Where is my best kill, kill box? Feels like it's actually right here. Oh. We have flyers. Mm. That's a question. I haven't messed with flyers yet. I'm just going to put that there. Pulverizers are going to be particularly helpful here. I think I'm just going to put my guards at the end. Hopefully they'll stop enemies. Okay, there's our conductor floor. Okay, so we do actually have some ground units. Just not many. Okay, we are going to want to put a thing there. Okay, roadblock trap. Force them in. Luckily, we've got... We've got the end, end gun. some of that up. Okay, let's level this up a couple of times. There. They're getting stuck. But it's kind of fine. Go for that. I want that flying saw trap. We also have that. Oh, you know what? We have the conductor floor. I should be using that. Okay, flying saw trap. Arrow. 
and then I can get my next fire trap. There. Kill box has been uh, sufficiently upgraded. Unfortunately, I think this might actually be killing enemies too early. They're getting stuck in this barrier and we're not getting quite as many resources off of it. I think. Well, it's fine. At this point, we're good. Turns out this this gun here is uh, strong enough to pretty much take out every flyer. Uh, in fact, I didn't even need to have it there. I could have actually had less gun. Because the flyers are pretty weak. Yeah. Yeah, the fire AOE goes slightly outside the square. Only slightly, but it's enough, I think. I don't know. Not sure how much it matters. Okay. I mean, whatever happens, happens at this point. There is not much that is going to change my lineup. Just get rid of this steam traps. What? Oh. A couple of these guys are cheating. Oh. The flyers are bringing them in. So keep that in mind. Not that it matters too much. And I suppose this this guy is actually pretty useful. Seems to do plenty of damage to uh the flyers. Okay, another pulverizer trap is so tempting. But I think I'm good. More max HP, cast delay. Yeah. Okay. This is a good one. Remove two. So first and foremost, we want to get rid of that. And what's the other one? Honestly, one of the two oil tar traps. We just don't need them. Let's see, so what do we upgrade instead? For additionally? The flying saw traps are actually pretty good. I should probably upgrade that, though, seeing as we're using it, and let's hope this is the final boss. It probably isn't. Demon Mammon, Lord of Greed, excels in commanding magic units. Periodically summon two troll witch doctors. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We have one portal. Two portal. Only two portal? I think only two portal. So that's going to open up at some point, which is not my favorite. I don't think we have any flyers, though. And if we do, this is a giant waste of time. And resources. Okay, let's... I think I'm going to want this to be my kill zone, frankly. So I think I'm not going to try and prevent it from doing anything else. Okay. Gun here, conductor floor. We have the field generator. Just put that down. Pulverizer trap. Oh, we did have the harvest trap. I'm a goof. I guess I'll just sell that. Get the harvest trap down. There we go. Alright, speed this up and get my money. One. 
do. Great. I go for that. Let's actually slow them down here. Okay, secondary projectile trap. Ow. Oh. Might have actually done that backwards. I'm not sure how much that matters. Alright, so this is honestly near peak already. It could go a little further. I guess I'll put a put a saw blade trap there. Let's see, second fire trap. Second fire trap. Alright. Yeah, I don't know if there's more I can do. Yep, that one's open, but we planned around it. Okay, put those there. Put an arrow trap, but... I'm legitimately unsure of where I'd want to put that. They're boosting some of these. I put the guns in the wrong direction, but I'm not sure how much it matters. Alright, I think we've hit peak gun. We've not hit peak pulverizer. Now we have hit peak pulverizer. It's a shame we don't have any of these evolutions unlocked, to be honest. Like, actually kind of sucks. I understand I'm supposed to, like, earn them or something, but I don't know. And I'm going to intentionally get another one of that. I'm going to intentionally try and guarantee the blastos cannot come through. I was correct. So far, so good. Uh, let's see. So I'm just going to put that there. Most of my enemies aren't going to be getting through. I'll just put both of those there. At this point, we have all of the money in the world, so we don't even need to care about the harvest trap. So I guess I could put something somewhere useful. There. I am out of traps. There's nothing we can do. At this point, it is do or die. And potentially put down, like, oodles of these things. For the sake of madness. Which actually feels pretty good. Come at me, sucker. You cannot get through this. It is too mighty for you. Are all of these maxed out? I think so. We haven't even hit the boss yet. Alright, anything else? No. Yeah, they're gonna be hitting my barriers, but... Hard to care. I'm just gonna put a second one there. Something exploded. I'm not sure what exploded, actually. Oh, well. If there's another region, I think I'm still gonna stop. As much as I enjoy this, uh, I don't want to be here for another 45 minutes to an hour. But I do enjoy this. Like, I think this is an absolutely solid roguelike. It's just... I wish it scaled faster and then ended sooner. That's, like always going to be my answer for a lot of these roguelikes. Actually, he might just kill me. I'm not really sure what he's doing. Which is kind of nice. I think he specifically needs to have allies with him and actually... He's just not sustaining damage. 
I think he's cheating. Well, there he goes. Unfortunately, yeah, it looks like the boss has cheated and is now invincible. Yeah, he's actually gaining HP and then he's just farting a bunch. It's a shame, but this is launching, as far as I know, in into early access. Yeah, launching into early access. Well, I can't really... I don't think there's liter... I, I literally don't think there's anything I could do about that. I don't think he's even taking damage. No, he is, he is now taking damage. Oh, that's rude. Like, what could I have done about that? It's fine. Hopefully that gets fixed for later, but also there's, I believe, meta progression that we have yet to unlock. So, uh... Boy, we've unlocked a bunch of things. Max level for a bunch of traps. Yeah. This is the other thing that we were missing. Oh, I don't want to play again. Oh. Nope. I'm going to go out to the main menu. Hopefully that'll let me continue where, from where I left off. I want to take a look at character. I don't think there is, uh, there is meta progression. I mean, I think it's just all unlocks. All of those evolutions I was, like, pining for. Oh, those are new trap, New traps. Next level for Sunken Trap. I should have been paying attention to some of these. Uh, advanced Trap, Arrow Trap. Boy, there's a lot of these. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna grab that. Well, one way or another, I had an absolute blast with this. Obviously, the bug at the end is a little bit of a downer, but it's kind of hard to care. You know what? I actually want to grab that conveyor floor. I can see that being really, really fun. I also think there should be some other playable characters, too, that we didn't try. Yeah, there's that, but we have to unlock her first. Oh, by spending currency. Haha, <laughs> oops. And then Horus is not available in early access. Well, oh well. It's fine. For now, I... I really like this combination of features. I'm a huge fan of Orcs Must Die, and I'm a huge fan of uh, of Dungeon Warfare. But I've always found those to be a little bit, like, repetitive, grindy, and uh, not very dynamic. You just get set into a build, and that's it. The fact that uh, they've more or less taken that formula and turned it into a very solid roguelike uh, is super en encouraging, promising. I don't know. I just really want to play more of this uh, at some point. But for now... I should probably go play board games or something. So, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.